What Rolex did was to take a mechanical 3035, throw the escapement away and add a quartz oscillator, one that beat four times faster than the Beta 21, naturally. From there, the movement is all mechanical, with the oscillator driving a pallet fork that provides motion to the going train and ultimately the hands. This full-on mechanical approach is what gives the Oyster Quartz its backlash-free second hand and its trademark tick. But there's so much more to the movement than that, with Rolex demonstrating one of the first examples of thermocompensation, using a thermistor to monitor temperature and adjust voltage accordingly. There's even an option for manual regulation, such was Rolex's commitment to the pursuit of accuracy.